Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a brand new episode of I'm Very Sick and Have Nothing Better to Do, so here I am recording videos for the Metal Meltdown. Today, we're talking about a brand new studio album from Swedish melodic death metal titans entitled Over Given Hatin'. Or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't really know for sure, because I'm a stupid fucking Canadian. The point is, Soilwork have a brand new studio album, and honestly, it kind of fucking rules. Which honestly should not be especially surprising to hear or difficult to understand, because if you've paid attention to Soilwork in any capacity over the course of the past 20, 25 years, then you already know that they have a pretty consistent and stable body of work. Records like Steel Bath Suicide, The Chain Heart Machine, Figure Number 5, Stabbing the Genre, and a few more may not live up to the same levels of monumental success and influence and acclaim that other mellow deaf records from other mellow deaf bands have seen, like Slaughter the Soul, The Jester Race, Anthems of Rebellion, so on and so forth, but like, they're great fucking records! And I would argue to a certain extent that Soil Work is consistently more well, consistent than the bands who released those records. Like, there was a huge dip in the quality of In Flames' material in the 2010s, and At The Gates just kind of disappeared, and, you know, they've had strong records since re-emerging, but even so, and Arch Enemy have kind of been up and down, consistently still okay, but, like, I feel like they've only recently really gotten back into gear with Deceivers. Meanwhile, Sawyer work just kind of keep on pushing. They keep on getting bigger, weirder, crazier. I wasn't a huge fan of 2019's Verk Lighten, but it was still overall a really good record, a very ambitious record, a very emotional record for the band. As was their 2020 EP, Wisp of the Atlantic, which saw them indulging in new influences from progressive rock and progressive metal, and honestly, it might be one of my favorite things from Soil Work. And Over Given Hayton very wisely builds on the success and the momentum of these records, I would argue, finding a good balance between everything that made Verk Lighten and Wisp of the Atlantic so powerful, so impactful, so unique. The opening number and title track Over Given Hayton, for instance, is every bit as powerful as it is invigorating and triumphant. Opening on a very dramatic note with Scandinavian and American folk influences kind of working together with some progressive overtures and some angelic vocals, kind of building tension and drama before unleashing into some pretty thunderous and righteous Swedish mellow death fury. Complete with soaring twin guitar hooks and leads, razor sharp riffery, and Perhaps one of the best choruses I think I've heard in any Mellow Def song this year. Then you have Nous Sommes La Guerre, which I also know I'm not pronouncing correctly before someone gives me shit, which sees soil work kind of going further down the prog rock, prog metal rabbit hole, almost bringing in some vibes and some vocal textures and guitar sound effects that honestly would not be out of place on like a mid-90s dream theater record. Following that, you also have Electric Again, a very emotive and inspiring kind of melodic death metal banger that introduces some absolutely beautiful strings and, and fiddles later on in the track. What initially feels like one of the more straightforward kind of cuts on the record eventually blossoms into something far more impactful entirely because of those strings. Well, and great songwriting. To be fair, even if those strings weren't there, this would still be a pretty solid cut. As would this godless universe, which similarly pairs soaring and emotive strings, fiddles, violins with some incredibly abrasive Swedish death metal. But as good as all of this is, the king of the crop, in my opinion, is on the wings of a goddess through flaming sheets of rain. A mouthful of a fucking title and a hell of a fucking album closer. It honestly feels like this album's equivalent to something like Holy Wars The Punishment Do, where Soil Work are just like, let's throw all the best fucking riffs and all the best fucking solos on this one fucking song. Boom, that's it, call it a day. Great job, guys, see you later. Like, it's just an absolutely thrilling cut. With all due respect 
to all the other Mellow Def bands we've talked about lately, this is quite possibly the best Mellow Def song of 2022. Solid runner-up, though, may be Is It In Your Darkness, which I can absolutely picture being a fan favorite in a, in a live setting. Like, it's just got such a fantastic chorus and tons of stupid crushing riffs. Guaranteed motherfuckers are gonna lose it when Soil Work goes on tour with this. So yeah, there you go. Sounds like a great record, right? No need to fucking continue this. 4.5 out of 5, 5 out of 5? Yeah, sounds good, right? Let's go home, right? No, you're wrong. Sit the fuck back down. We still got shit to talk about. Yes, this is an incredible record on so many fucking levels. The songwriting, the production, the performances. Duh. These guys are at the top of their motherfucking game in a lot of areas. But not all areas. Unfortunately, there are a few things that come in the way of this album achieving some truly legendary status. There are a few things that come in the way of me declaring this one of the best records of the year, despite my enthusiasm. And one of those things is the album's length. There are 14 songs on this record, which is a lot, to put it bluntly. The album comes in at about 65 minutes long, the songs are incredibly dense and cram-packed, and it can feel, honestly, a little bit overwhelming as time goes on. On top of that, there are a couple of songs that just aren't up to par and briefly kind of kill the momentum and the hype for me. Valley of Gloam, for instance, just feels kind of aimless. It's, it's just kind of lame. Worse, though, would be Deaf I Hear You Calling, which is... For lack of a better description, Soilwork's attempt at like a really edgy, inspiring, hard rock rager. That drum beat and that main riff is just so basic. That chorus kind of feels like something left over from the Night Flight Orchestra or some 80s AOR shit. I'll say this though, I still thoroughly enjoyed the fuck out of this record. Like. More than I was expecting. Like, again, I wasn't huge on Verk Lighten, and even some of the records that came out before that, like The Living Infinite and Deaf Resonance, they were good, but they didn't really, like, wow me. This, this wowed me. This is a great fucking record. Really, really, really strong. Four to five. Nearing towards a 4.5 to five, if we're being honest. Like, if this were a little bit tighter, we'd pretty much be square in that territory. There's been a lot of Swedish death metal the past couple of weeks from Amon Marv, The Halo Effect, Arch Enemy, plus In Flames have been dropping a few singles here and there, and it's all great, but, but this is the best of the best. This, this absolutely takes the cake for Swedish death metal in August of 2022. An oddly specific category, but again, there's been a lot of Swedish death metal in August 2022, so, you know, a necessary category. If you love soil work, I don't see why you wouldn't love this record, warts and all. I mean, it's just filled with so many awesome fucking hooks and solos and riffs. Again, for me, I think this is one of the best melodic death metal records of the year so far. It's been great for Swedish melodic death metal, again, in just this fucking month. But, man, this, this really does take the fucking cake for me. This thing's awesome. Gold medal in epic Swedish melodic death metal insanity. Four to five. An extremely enthusiastic one at that. Dangerously, dangerously close to a 4.5 out of 5. Booyah, it's great. Check it out. That is it. You know what's weird? I actually feel less sick after having spent this time talking about soil work. The power, the healing power of melodic death metal. Hell yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be, so what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Press this button right here for updates on the Metal Meltdown. He fucking immediately, in case you somehow aren't getting them already. Thank you for getting me to 9,000 subscribers. 10K, I'm coming after you next. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.